Well, more than eight years after 9 11, the smoke from Ground Zero is gone, but the legal fires remain. Lawyers for the city of New York are fighting hundreds of claims from first responders who say the plumes of smoke and debris from that day cause severe illnesses like cancer. Is the city turning its back? On first responders, joining me now from New York, from our New York studio, is one of those first responders, Kenny Specht. Mr. Specht, you yourself were there, and you've also lost several friends, not only on 9/11, but afterwards, some to cancer, in fact. Now there's a pretty tough legal team there in New York. Some lawyers calling the claims of these workers' family members baseless. What's your reaction to this? Hi, Christine. Um, well, uh, listen, that's their job. The job of the city attorney is to um, is 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 to prove that our claims are false, and uh, and it's our job as, as the claimants to prove that we do indeed have have a uh, a right to sue, uh, that we are indeed sick from our time down at the trade center. Um, so uh, as it stands right now, Christine, it's a game. Um, I understand their position. I just hope that they too understand my position, and certainly my position is somebody who represents a lot of sick New York City firefighters. We're prepared at a moment's notice to go down to court, um, show our paperwork, uh, medical paperwork, show where we were eight years ago and where we are now. So if it's a battle they want, um, I I'm all for it. I, I know what the men, the men and the women of the New York City Fire Department are experiencing. I understand what their job is as city attorneys. I hope that they understand what our job is as uh, September 11th rescue workers. And let's talk, Mr. Specht. I mean, obviously, um, a lot of emotional implications from that day. But can you just talk to us very briefly about your personal, uh, physical, you know, what's happened to you health-wise since that day? Uh, well, Christine, um, I, I was there the day of. Um, I had spent considerable time down until the end of October of 2001. And, uh, and honestly, I had thought uh, that I had escaped um, any illness or injury from my time at the Trade Center. Um, in 2006, I was experiencing gastrointestinal situation, uh, uh, symptoms. Um, I had an a, a emergency surgery to have my gallbladder removed. And in 2007, I was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I'm a reasonable person, Christine. Um, I'm an honest person. Uh, I'm here to say today that I know that my gastrointestinal problems and I know that my cancer is linked to my time down at the Trade Center. Um, I also know that a lot of New York City firefighters, 45, 50 year old men like me, um, who have been diagnosed with cancer recently, their cancers are related to our time down at the Trade Center. My story is no different than a lot of others. Um, I'm just here to, to, to get out my story maybe a little bit. And to let people know that New York City firefighters, young men, young strapping strong men are suffering uh, due to our time down at the Trade Center eight and a half years ago. And now the city's legal team, all, team also says they found examples of workers who were actually sick before the attacks. And they've asked for 17 of the lawsuits to be dismissed on a variety of grounds. What, what do you think about this? Um, I got to be honest with you, Christine. If that is indeed the case, and let's deal with fact here. Um, if indeed, if in fact, um, there are people out there who are looking to um, be compensated for illnesses or injuries that are not related to their time at the Trade Center, I say, um, I say we convict them. I say that uh, we consider it a crime. I say that I don't support that type of stuff. I don't support people that are out there looking to make a dime off the backs of dead New York City firefighters. Um, I believe that people should um, have to prove um, reasonably that their illness is related to their time at the Trade Center. And I also understand that there's many people out there um, who had illnesses or injuries before the time at the Trade Center uh, that are trying to be compensated for those illness or injuries now. Um, myself, the people I work with, uh, the people that are working so hard to get this bill passed, I don't accept that. That's unacceptable, that type of behavior. That type of behavior by people that make up these claims um, make my job very, very difficult. Um, I believe that if you attached some sort of stipulation, if you had these people sign a form stating that should their illness or injury be found not to be related to the Trade Center, um, that they're uh, federally prosecuted. I mean, let's be honest here. We're dealing with federal funds, Christine. If these people want to play a game, if they want to lie about their time at the Trade Center and their illness and injury and they're caught, they should be uh, prosecuted. All right. Well, we sure do hope that you keep us posted. Kenny Specht joining us live I from will, New York. Christine, thanks.